Hey, so I guess it's been a while, but today I'm going to be showing you how to turn this wallpaper into, or I guess any wallpaper, into a mouse tracking and x-ray wallpaper, so kind of a two-in-one. So you can go ahead and make a new file, use the template 2D scene for this. We'll just do make a test. Oh, keep typing it like that, don't know why. Choose whatever resolution you want for today. I'll just be using the default, what it puts it as, but obviously if you have an idea of what you want, you can put that in, so press OK, and there you go. You have the workshop, basic workshop startup, I guess. So for me personally for this, I'm actually going to go into the settings and change the background color to white, just because it makes things a lot easier instead of having to put in a white white image or something for the background. So there's that. Now you want to go ahead and add your first transparent image. Make sure it, be, it being transparent is pretty important so that it's not just blocky and everywhere. I'm sure you probably get the idea. So we'll put the first image in. We're not adjusting that. Make sure that's not checked or it'll stretch out the border and make it all wonky. So nothing, check nothing, just press OK. And then here you go. So you can move her around. You can really adjust the size to how you want it. And make sure for the mouse tracking that you have a little extra of the image. If it's cut off like this, make sure you have a, wherever it's cut off, make sure it's a little extra. As you can see, I have left about like a little, I don't really know what measurements this would be in real life. It's a, it's a centimeter for me, but I've left a little bit on each end because once you start tracking the mouse, it's going to pull the image the way that you want it. And if it's too, if you start here, it's going to pull the image up and you're going to be able to see that line. So you want to have that extra little bit of space. And obviously you can go in and fix that later, but I'm going to keep it like this. I like it like this. So the next thing I'm going to put in is my next transparent image. And this is just a logo. It says Hatsugimiku in Japanese and in English. Make sure nothing's checked there for to get it. Okay, perfect. Um, I'm actually going to change the order so that Miku's in front. Yeah, I like that better. Now, you just have your normal wallpaper. Nothing's moving, nothing's doing anything. Go to settings and go all the way down. And, and this says camera parallax and you want to click enabled. Now, what the hell is going on here? This everything's moving around. It's crazy. Super easy fix. After you check that, new options will open up at the bottom. So you just want to scroll down and definitely turn down. I'm going to turn down the mouse influence for this to a negative number so that it is small or even just a really small positive number, depending on which way you want it to track the mouse. If it's a positive number, it's going to go away from the mouse. And if it's a negative number, it's going to follow the mouse. For this, I want it going away from the mouse. So I'm just going to make it a really small positive number. This is good. This is good. Now, you probably, this is weird, a little weird, because it's all kind of moving together. And if you like that, that's fine. Sorry, I'm just going to move her in a little bit. If you like that, that is, that's fine. But I'm actually going to, sorry, move this one more time. I'm going to change it so that the logo is moving kind of separately, so it looks like it's layered. And to do that, it's pretty simple. You click on the image, so that's, the, my logo is called 2. Go down, and you change the depth so that, they're different from each other so that when you move it it kind of looks like there's a lot more there's there's actual depth <laughs> kind of it's what the setting is called but there's you can see it's like layered so there's a lot more depth to the image which is perfect perfect so it looks great it looks really smooth speaking of smooth actually one more little little tip um the delay is what you what you'll see in a lot of these type of mouse tracking wallpapers and it's what makes it look so smooth. If you change the delay to zero, it's going to look very blocky and you don't, that's not good for these type of smooth, I don't think anyone uses zero delay. So a, th a three, a one, one to five is great. Um, anything above that, it, it probably, it'll go a lot slower and it can seem really disorienting. So definitely go with like, 0 0.43. This, this looks great. Now you can leave it at this. Uh, simple mouse tracking wallpaper. Super popular. All over the Steam Workshop you'll find 
hundreds of these and people people love them but if you want to go a step further and add x-ray which is super easy to do i will show you right now oh, i accidentally walked over there so we'll start with this hatsune miku text the logo you want to go into effects and under colorize at the very bottom say x-ray gives you a little preview pretty cool this don't worry about this um just blend texture is all we'll be using for today and you have all these options to import browse settings all this so we're gonna go ahead and import and i've numbered these for today but we're gonna Pretty sure this is the right one three yeah so i have an, an inverted version of the logo make sure nothing's checked again press ok and it basically goes ahead and does this for you now pretty straightforward size pretty high we're gonna go with size pretty high today and then there you go and it follows the image just like as if it were also following the mouse track so you don't need to worry about fancy stuff like that so that's that's done you can name it if you want x-ray inverted i think with one hand i don't know what i'm doing x-ray inverted there you go and now if you want to go to the miku image add effect x-ray same thing import an image right there and I named this one for it's an inverted image of Miku. Now this is actually interesting because the image is a different resolution than my original Miku image. And it's, it's a little more stretched out as well. I don't know what wallpaper engine did in the past year of updating their stuff, but it's perfect. It locks the image to the original image like somehow it matches up and you can even see because this image you can see it's a little more stretched out horizontally but this image is more vertical and it's it adds up perfect and if this um, little project save thing would move I could change the size and there you go mouse track x-ray easy as that you got the two got the two in one people love these two obviously can be so cool you can do this with text you can do this with like a shine you can find an inverted image make this really thin where it's like white and you can make it kind of like a shine i've seen those um oh that was the loudest thing i've ever seen in my life um heard in my life sorry um anyway that's it that's all super easy um thanks for watching bye